Hello guys, my name is Sanjeev Reddy and welcome back to Statistical Academy. In this video, we are going to be talking about analyzing and reporting the data. We will be covering titles and footnotes, using macro variables and functions in titles, applying labels to variables, segmenting reports, enhancing reports. So let's get started. Don't forget to hit the subscribe button and leave a comment with your thoughts on the topic. Let's learn together. The links for the program and the example data sets I use in this video are in the description below. Now you know how to access, validate and manipulate data in SAS. You are ready to be analyzing and reporting on data. In analyzing and reporting on data, we concentrate on summarizing data by using SAS procedures that we touched on for data exploration. You will also learn how to use titles, variable labels, footnotes and macro variables to enhance your reports and make them more meaningful. Let us first learn about some additional SAS statements that can be used with any procedure to enhance a report. Title is a global statement that establishes a title for all reports created in your SAS session. The syntax is just the keyword title followed by the title text enclosed in quotation marks. You can have up to 10 lines of titles. You specify a number 1 through 10 after the keyword title to indicate the line number. Title and Title 1 are equivalent. You can also add footnotes to any report with a footnote statement. The same rules for titles apply to footnotes. Title and footnote are global statements. And in some environments, they remain active as long as your SAS session is active. So that every report you create has the same title. If you wanted to clear the titles and footnotes you specify, you can use the keyword title or footnote with no text. That is called a null title statement. The null title statement clears all the titles you have specified on any line. Macro variables can be very helpful in titles. In this example code, a percent let statement creates a macro variable for age that is used to subset observations in the print procedure. It would be helpful to include the filter criteria in title so that it is clear what filter is applied to the results. You can reference the macro variable in the title to do that. Remember, you must enclose the macro variable in double quotation marks so that SAS replaces the macro variable reference with the stored text. Sometimes variable names that follow SAS variable naming conventions might be a bit difficult to interpret especially for someone who isn't familiar with the data. Labels are an easy way to enhance a report with more descriptive variable headings. You start with the keyword label and then list the variable name, an equal sign and the label string enclosed in quotation marks. A label can be any text string up to 256 characters including spaces and special characters. You can label more than one variable in a single label statement. In this example, PROC means output, the label is listed as a column in the results. PROC means PROC freak and most other procedures automatically display the labels in the results. But PROC print is an exception because the main purpose of PROC print is to examine the data. Variable names are displayed by default. To display labels, instead you must add the label option in the PROC print statement. If we take the same label statement and put it in a data step, labels are assigned to the designated variables as permanent attributes in the descriptor portion of the data set. If we run this program and check in the variables tab, when you click on MSRP variable, 
You can see down below the variable is applied permanently with the label. When you run a procedure that uses the data, labels are automatically displayed in the results. One more way to enhance report is to segment them. You can use the by statement in a reporting procedure to segment a report based on the unique values of one or more variables. To do this, you must sort the data first using the same by variable. For example, suppose we want to run the freak procedure so that we have a frequency report of type of for each value of origin. First, we use a proc sort to sort the data set by origin. Then we use the same by statement in the proc freak step. SAS treats the observations for each value of origin as a separate data set and generates the frequency report. In this demo, we will use titles, footnotes, labels and grouping to enhance a report. So let's look at the cars data set. I will run the proc print step just to see what we have to start with. So we have the origin, make, model, MSRP and MPG highway, MPG city. Those are the variables that had been included in the report because of the var statement and proc print. So let's say I would like to enhance that report a bit. Specifically, I would like to look at the cars with prices greater than $50,000 and I would like to group the report by origin. I would also like to provide some titles and descriptive labels for the column headers to enhance the display. So in order to create a grouped report, the first thing I need to do is sort the input data. So before proc print, I am going to add a proc sort. The input data will be the sashelp.cars dataset and I will create an output dataset named new cars. I would like to group the data by origin and then within origin I would like to order the cars based on the descending car price that is MSRP. That way the higher priced cars will be at the top within each origin. And I said we also wanted to look specifically at cars with prices more than $50,000. So I will filter the data where MSRP is greater than 50,000. So the proc sort step will create our temporary new cars data set that is ordered in the groups that I wanted to display in the report. So my proc print needs to instead use the new cars data set as its input. In order to group the data within my report, I need to add a by statement in the proc print. So I wanted to group by origin. I will add a title to the report. So before proc print, I will use a title statement to add luxury cars. I will add footnote to state that the report generated on 30th Jan 2023 by using footnote statement. And I will also add a label statement within the proc print. I will start with the keyword label and then the variable name on the left MSRP equal and then in quotes the label. I will complete the label statement. Now notice I can use a single label statement to create labels for each of these two variables. Remember it is a good practice that if you create titles and footnotes you also clear that title and footnote at the end of the program. So I will add a title null and footnote null statements at the end. Let us run it at this point and see how the results look. I will check the log first and we notice there are only notes in the results. I look at the results. We can see the title looks good. The report grouping looks great. We have a separate table for each origin. And you will notice the MSRP is ordered in descending sequence. Also at the end, footnote is displayed. However, where are my labels? 
you will notice I am still looking at variable names. And just another side note, I still have this observation column that's included by default. So what did I forget? Well, I will go back to the code and remember that in the proc print, we actually have to request that labels be displayed in the output with the label option. It's the one procedure that requires the requesting labels be displayed. All other procedures will display labels by default. And to get rid of that obs column, I can use the no obs option. I will resubmit the proc print step and it looks great. My labels are displayed in the report. If you have any questions or doubts, please leave them in the comments below or reach out to me through the mail id mentioned in the about section of this channel. Thanks for watching and I'll see you in the next video.